In this video, I'm going to show you how to scrape LinkedIn Sales Navigator to turn any Sales Navigator Let's Search audit list like this one into a clean CSV file with first names, last names, verified professional emails, profile URLs, job positions, company names, company websites, and much more data that you can leverage for your prospecting. And for that, we are going to use EVBoot, the smartest LinkedIn sales navigator scraper, a tool that is currently used by more than 50,000 people. Basically, what the EVBoot extension does is that it adds a button here on your sales navigator, export with EVBoot to export in just one click any lead or search with professional emails. To download this extension, you can click the first link that you will find in the description. It will lead you to the signup page and then it will ask you to download the Everboot Chrome extension on the Google Chrome store. Once you're here, you click on add to Chrome, then add extension and it will automatically open a new sales navigator window and you will see here the button appearing on your interface. Once you are here, you can go back to any uh, sales navigator search or list you have. If you don't see the uh, button, you can first refresh the page and then you will see the button appearing here. And if you are on the lists, you can select all the lists, but you can also export only a tab, only a part of this list if you want to. So here, let's select this tab and click on export with EVBoot, it will open the EVBoot app and it will ask me if I want to export uh, the leads with or without uh, the professional email. So in that case, I will export the lead uh, with the emails and then name it like test list export. You can name it obviously whatever you want. Then it will launch the export and I will receive an email notification when my export is completed. So here you can see that my list is being exported and I have uh, an estimated end date on the left. If you uh, select to uh, export the lead without the emails, don't panic. You can still add the emails afterwards by clicking here on find emails and clicking on this button. And you can see on my previous search that the uh, email finding has been launched automatically because I select the with email option. So yeah, if you want to uh, launch the email finder afterwards, just click on find emails and all it here and it will uh, launch the email finder on these leads as well. And you can see when the export uh, is completed, you have few uh, statistics here on the column emails. You have the number of emails that we found. And uh, if you click on it, you add the ratios of safe, risky and empty emails. So safe emails mean that we are 99% sure that the email exists. Risky emails means that the email is unverifiable and empty means that we didn't find the emails. If you want to know more about why some emails can't be uh, verified and if you want to know how Everboot find and verify the emails, I will leave a link in the description that describe the process that we uh, use. Generally speaking, you can expect between 40 and 90% of email discovery rate. It will usually depend on your industry. For example, if you target startup employees, you will have a good email discovery rate because these people share a lot of information online and it's uh, easier for us to find their emails. If you work in a more classic industry like construction, for example, it will be harder for us to find the emails and for email, other email finder tools as well, because these people share less information online. So it's more difficult to find their emails. Okay, so now if we take a look at the actual file, you can see a lot of information you can leverage for prospecting, like first name, last name, email, URL, other profile, and the company page, job position, company name, company website, prospect location, company industry, company specialties that are sort of keywords describing the um, activity of uh, a company. So for example, here you have wellness and fitness services. And here you get more uh, information like franchise, you know, athletic best training, strength, etc. So it gives you a bit more information on uh, what the company is doing. You have a company employee range and exact employee count. This is interesting because, you know, between a company that is uh, 50 or 200 heads is really different. So knowing here that there are 89 is an information you can uh, use as well. And you can also know if a prospect is open to work, is an open profile or is premium. 
that also uh, information you can leverage uh, for prospecting and knowing if someone is an open profile is super interesting because you can basically send free emails to open profile so you can send direct messages to people on linkedin without having to send a connection request first so this is super powerful and if you want to know more about this lead generation technique i will leave a link to a tutorial on the top right of this video now there are two other things that you should know about evboot and that makes evboot unique and really the smartest linkedin sales navigator scraper is that we uh, don't only export the leads we also clean the data and we filter your leads so we clean the data by cleaning all the emojis that you can find on the company names the special characters the the name in all caps and also the juridical mentions in the company names so if you can check the file here you see that there is no emojis no capital letters all the names uh, are clean the second part is uh, the filters so if you don't know it, maybe at least 20% of your sales navigator leads on your searches don't match your search criteria. I won't explain why uh, in detail here because it's a large topic. If you want to know more about that, you can check uh, the tutorial that will appear in the top right of this video, or you can go to the website and click here on learn more um, about filtering. But I will show you a live demo of that. So basically here on the Evaboot file, you have two columns match filters and no match reasons. So match filters mean that yes, your leads match all the filters yet that you have it here on your uh, sales navigator search engine. This can be yes or no. And if it's no, you will have the no match reason. So if I scroll down here, I can see that these leads, for example, are in the wrong company size. I have also a wrong title here. And if I take this line, for example, I can see this lead is a, as a company which has a, the wrong size, a wrong period of the company, meaning that I wanted people that are in that company for two years, for example, and this person is like maybe more or less than that, and also has the wrong title. So here I was looking for uh, head of sales. You can see here, current job title, head of sales. And if I go back here and I scroll to the job title color, I see uh, intent. So I was looking for a head of sales and I got an intern. And if I open here the profile, I will see that indeed this person is an intern at uh, this company. So I won't detail uh, why here. Remember, if you want to know why, you can go back uh, here in the video and check the link I had it. It's a one hour sales navigator tutorial where I explain why it's happening and also uh, a lot of tips that you can use to avoid this problem and get the most out of LinkedIn Sales Navigator. But this feature will also save you a lot of time because imagine here prospecting all these leads knowing that they are not really in your target. You are losing time, you are losing energy, you are losing focus. So if, if right away you can see that, okay, you should focus on these leads here and not on these leads, you will save a lot of time uh, and money and he this combined with the data cleaning you will also avoid to spend hours burning your eyes on excel files cleaning the data yourself and checking if all leads are uh, really part of your target so if you want to download your evboot file you can click on the download icon here for that you will need to buy credits if you click on pricing here you will see that our pricing start at $9 for 100 credits and you spend one credit every time you export a lead from LinkedIn Sales Navigator with profile and account information and you also spend a credit when an email is found and only when an email is found. So it means that if you export one lead uh, with an email, it's two credits. So here with 100 credits, you can either export one of the leads without emails or 50 leads with emails. And by the way, if you don't need to export leads like every day or every week, you can simply uh, buy a Neverboot subscription and cancel it right away. That way it's like a one-time payment if you only have a one-time project. What Neverboot does for leads, it also does it for accounts. So you can also export account lists uh, with Neverboot here. You got the button and you can also export uh, icon searches. So here I'm on icon search and you also have the button export with Evibut. The only difference is that we won't export emails with account list because emails are attached to people and not companies. So if you have a list of companies and you want to transform that into a list of decision makers with emails, you can follow this process. You go to the icon search, you build, uh, you search for accounts and then 
you need to build an account list. And for that, you will select the companies that are the most relevant to you. You can select one by one or all the page here. Click on Save to List. You can create a new list or add the companies uh, to an existing list like this. Once this is done, you go to the lit search here. Delete the filters you have. You expand the filters. You scroll down. You go to Account List. And then here, you look for the list you just created. You select it. And then on the right, you will see all the people working at the companies inside here your account list. But obviously you just want the decision makers. So you will add here in the current job title filter the uh, job titles of your personas, of your ICP. Let's say for me it's the CEO. I write CEO here and here I will have the list of all the CEOs in the companies in my account list here. And then yes, I can use the export with easy boot button to get the emails of the decision makers. So you can't get email list directly from account lists, but using this process, you can go from an account list to a list of decision makers and then get their emails. And that's how guys, I use Scrape, LinkedIn, Sales Navigator, Searches and Lists. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a like and subscribe to your channel. And if you want to know more about how to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator to generate leads, you can check the complete tutorial that will appear just right here. I wish you a great day and I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.